We export food and grocery products from the U.S. to China and other markets in Asia. We do a lot of snacks, cereals, snack nuts. I often joke to people that my job is selling junk food to China. A lot of what drives our business is people like U.S. brands and they like U.S. food safety. We started this in 2011 as a division of a bigger company that I used to work for called Resource One. Resource One wanted to exit the international business. We got the opportunity to buy the business, then I came on full time. Suppliers in the St. Louis area are Post Cereal. We work a lot with them. Uh, Gilster Mary Lee down in southern Missouri, southern Illinois. Bissinger's Chocolate, a uh, smaller startup company called What Are You Nuts? A lot of customers ask us how we can do this from St. Louis in the middle of the country. The Midwest is where most of the food is grown in the U.S., where a lot of the food production is. So our location is strategic because it's close to the suppliers, close to the you know, factories. We can collect all the products from Midwestern suppliers, and we can send a container to China from St. Louis cheaper than it, you know, it would be to drive a truck from here to California. The SBA helped us a lot as a startup company, we didn't have a financial track record. We've gotten uh, export financing from the SBA. We're growing at about 50% a year. This year we expect to do about two million. It's pretty much a seven day a week, week job. China's always a day ahead of us. I love the meeting people, experiencing different cultures, and, you know, traveling back and forth to China. It's been really enjoyable to be our own bosses and to work together and accomplish something. I was excited, I'm very um, happy to be recognized and appreciative of the SBA for the support they've given us.